Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. So today I wanted to do a special holiday planner space tour. So I don't think I've done an official tour of my new um, living area, which is doubling as my planner. Um, yeah, my planner room, you can say. So I have it all in my living room uh, and I wanna show how I have it all organized. And also with the Christmas decor, I felt like it would be a fun video. Uh, to have and then in a few months I'm probably gonna have another planner space tour because I plan on changing up my desk situation which I'm really excited about so that way you can see like a before and after before that happens so I hope you all enjoy watching this video so I'm just gonna give a quick little spin on like all of this area that I'm gonna go over um, so I have some stuff in my little hallway area then I have some stuff up against this wall um, and then on the other side of the couch, got some stuff over there, some planner stuff. That corner is my main like planning area with that desk, well those desks. And then I do have some things in this little cabinet. So I will go over what I have going on in this area. All right, so first up are my desks. So I have two desks, they're kind of just like next to each other. They're both from Ikea. I was gifted, or not gifted, but I was given this one um by some friends who didn't want that anymore i think they're using it as i think it's a kitchen table um it's very large but i like it because it's got a glass top and then this one is just a basic ikea table with those legs it's like the cheapest desk that they offer and it's been that's my filming area over there um these have been serving their purpose for a few years but I'm actually gonna be upgrading in a few months. I do work for a company that manufactures furniture, so I am getting a fancy new desk um, that I'm gonna be, yeah, they're gonna make for me. Um, and it's a height adjustable on one side, so I'm really excited about that. Um, but I'm gonna show what I have for now. So you can see like before and after. I am gonna keep this chair, cause I do like this chair a lot. It's comfy and it's um, a rolly chair. But yeah, very comfy. I got it from TJ Maxx, I believe, like a few years ago. This is my desk. I do have it covered with like the um, removable wallpaper just to change up the wood. I am getting a new like nice wood top. So I am excited about that. Better quality. I have my little trash right there. This little bin, I've been like really, I'm trying to get better about cleaning up my mess after I film. So I allow myself to like fill this up before I have to like fill it, put it away. So I have this little bin of things that I use in some videos that I just need to put away. So after a video's done, I just toss it all in there. And then when I have time to get to it, then I will put it all away. So that, but that's it, like max that amount of mess before I need to start putting things away. And then I got this little organizer from the dollar spot at Target. It's really cute, it's a mess right now. Um, but this is where all the things I have that I need when I'm filming. So I have some pens and markers and scissors and all the things. Tape, glue, all that. Um, these super cute little planner charms that I got from the Curvy Planner Annabelle. Amazing little charms. I have a few of them on my one of my planners right now. A little notepad to jot down some notes. Now this little corner is like the worst. The worst idea ever to have this here. But I just needed something really quick just to store some things. And I am able to grab this stuff from like when I'm sitting. So it is working. But those drawers right there, I literally have to get like underneath this table just to pull out things and it's a pain. So again, I can't wait for my new desk because I will have actual drawers and storage and I'm very excited. But for now, I do have just like some bins of things and my paper trimmer i have some wax paper and i have like mailer stuff for my the stickers that i send out to the patrons all right so moving on this way this is more of like the desk that i can work off of i just want to show you my christmas decor so i wanted this side to be a little bit more colorful because the other side of my living area is just like more neutral tones um, so I wanted this to be more colorful. My sister made this California, oh gosh, what is this called? I forgot what this is called, but she made it. <laughs> I forgot what, it's gonna come to me later. Um, but yeah, she made that for me. So I felt like this is like the perfect little California 
um, vibe, especially this Christmas because I know the rest of the country is like freezing, but we have like, for some reason, a little mini heat wave during Christmas. It's supposed to be like 80, which is crazy. Um, but going back to my <laughs> planner area, I have all the planner stuff. So I got this little acrylic piece. I really like this one. It has like three little slots and that um, holds is holding all of my new planners that I plan on using for next year. So just so that way they are there and I can find them easily. I have my washi tape drawers. I only allow myself to keep that amount of washi in those drawers. So um, once I get new washi, I kind of go through my stash again if I don't have room and I will get rid of some. But only two drawer, two of these little organizers, which I got from Michael's. Love those organizers. So I have my punch nearby just in case I need it. Oh, I forgot to mention over here I have some planning thing and the Agenda 52 stickers in that little container. I got it from Marshall, Marshall's T Home Goods. I got it from Home Goods. Um, I have my stack of planners. I need to do my setup video, so I'm trying to get ready for that. I have some of my planners here. Um, some are new and some are current ones some pens all that stuff but yeah that's basically my desk area just have that um so that way i can work on but yeah i have my filming area and then my desk area again i can't wait for my new desk so very excited about that things will change a little bit but it's going to be a lot more space that corner will actually be utilized so i'm really excited about that and it's going to be in like an l shape too so this side will have the height adjustable and this side will just be like a stationary desk area. So that's that's the plan for that. All right, so I'm gonna move on to over here. I have like all my um, just like decorative stuff over here, uh, but I do have one bin that I do put some planner stuff. So I'm gonna show what I have in there. Okay, so yeah, this bin I just have like pens. So I have mild liners. I got a bunch of stuff from Go Wild. So that's pretty, like mainly where all this stuff is from. Um, I have this little bin. Well, more mild liners. I got a lot of mild liners from that event. Um, and then I have a hot glue gun in here with like two glue sticks. So this is like my little bin that I keep for planner stuff or crafty stuff. I do put them in here. And then on this side, is blanket so everything else is just more like things that I have but that's gonna be that's the one that I use for the crafting planning stuff okay I'm gonna go to the first side of the couch so um, these two shelves I do these top ones I keep them just decorative some pictures of my family and stuff but then these two right here I do use them to keep some sticker books and planners planners that I pull from also these on the bottom are a couple of them are old planners and then I have the large sticker books like from Jojo and Amber um, and Love Love Posh and Heather I do have them here I have them organized in this bin I have the top bin I have boxes those are all like colorful boxes sticker books and then the bottom bin are like seasonal stickers that are for this season so it's winter and Christmas type sticker sticker books so that's what I have there in this little shelf. And the shelf is from Ikea. The Billy, I think. The Billy storage shelves. I love those ones. I have another one on the other side. I'm going to go over next. Okay, on this side, I do have another ring light. Um, that one doesn't work anymore, but I do use it sometimes as a stand when I am filming, especially like reels and stuff. So this side, again, I have like the top portions, more decorative, like not planner related. Um, and then the bottom, I'm keeping them planner stuff. So that way, like, it's not like all planner stuff everywhere because I feel like that would be too much. Too much. Especially since this isn't like only a planner room. I like to just keep it contained to a few shelves here and there. So over here, I do have some sticker books and I do have them organized in categories. So I have one that's like all the seasons. I have a seasonal, I have girls, planner girls, and Disney in this section. And then I do have all these deluxe covers, different covers that I have here. And then these, these over here, these black ones are filled with filler paper. So that is the little shelf. Again, I just want it to like, I want my planner stuff to be out. I just don't want it to be like everything you see and notice in a space. So 
that is how I am trying. That is how, that, that's my attempt at like having it out, but also not making it look like planner just exploded all over my, all over my space. So, so yeah, that is that side of the room. Now I'm going to go over what's in my hallway because I have a few things over there. All right, so I really love how this area turned out, especially like decorative wise. I love how that turned out. But I also really love this little cabinet that I have here, which is storing my printer and my Cricut. All right, so I got that opened up. So um, this one is from Ikea. Um, I think it was like a hundred bucks. It's a really, really good deal. And then I put added wallpaper to the backs, like some pretty printed wallpaper just to give it a little fun look in the inside and then I also changed out the hardware to the gold but other than that everything is this little case that I got from Ikea so this was perfect for the Cricut so I have the Cricut on the top and then here in the middle I have my paper and then on the left there are some uh like product that I need to make videos on or like pro new product that I can't show it is on the left side and then on the bottom, I have my printer and like any accessories that I need. So yeah, I love this cabinet because I used to have this stuff out and it was just, it takes up so much space and I didn't like the way it looked. And I like that now I have it all contained in one area and then I can close it up and it looks really pretty. And yeah, I'm super happy with how this little cabinet turned out. All right, so on to this side over here this little bookshelf or cube organizer. I got this one from Target like a few years ago. So that is the top little area. I went like, I had, oh, I have a lot of Christmas stuff. So I went crazy with like the trees and the, the houses. I just love all that kind of decor. So the top is all Christmas, but in the middle section or the first little cube area, I do have some sticker books. I have some planners that I pull pages from when I'm doing like custom spreads and mock spreads and stuff. And I just have some random stuff over there. I still need to organize this stuff. These bins have stuff in them too that I need to go through. It's not all planner stuff, but it's a good amount of it is planner stuff. Um, but yeah, that's the little cabinet in my hallway. So cute. So this, this cabinet, this one right here that holds like the printer and the Cricut, I usually have that on the wall that the Christmas tree is on, so I had to move everything over, but actually it doesn't look too bad in the hallway. Um, so I don't mind how it looks, but yeah, that is that little area. All right, so that is my planning area right now. I'm gonna be so sad when I have to take all this stuff down because it just adds so much fun and I just love the look of all the decor around my place. So yeah, I'm gonna be sad when it has to go down, but um, yeah, really happy with how it looks right now. So I hope you all enjoyed watching this planner space tour, this holiday edition of planner space tour. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you all in the next one.